All right, so one of the first projects that I want to talk about is none other than this bad boy right here. One right here is a chocolate pie, but now we're gonna try to aim for the super mandarin for acid black pastel spot nose desert goes. This one is one that I'm really, really excited about. What's up YouTube? How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing really, really good. My buddy MJ made it to 10,000 followers. Guys, man, that was so freaking awesome of you guys. You guys showed him a lot of love. Oh, let me change this back over here like this. There we go. Um, and I want to tell you guys, thank you very much. So now that we hit the 10,000 followers on MJ's thing, we're going to be announcing the winner on the next vlog. So if you guys want to go and comment one more time to see if it helps your odds out anymore, I'm going to put the video on the description down below. And if you guys ain't following MJ, man, go give him a follow. Great, great friend of mine and a great, great guy. All right. Now the turtle came in, so it's gonna be a little easier for me, man. I don't really like the whole vlog style stuff anymore. I used to do it a lot, but now it's just so cooler seeing her in the background. So turtle, turtle, can you do? Can you give us a little, a little vlog type? Um, hello. People have been asking for you a lot, so. Uh... Did you just zoom out or did you zoom in? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> give yourself a little intro. Hi everybody, this is me back at the camera, like I'm always. <laughs> so turtle, that way people don't hound me so much on it. Yeah. Now. Do you, you don't really like being on the camera, right? No, so, I swear, like, I freeze up every time. And, yeah. like, I don't know. So, guys, so when you guys <laughs> give me so much crap over this, trust me, I try to put her on there. I'm dodging but, him, I swear. Yeah, but getting <laughs> Tina mad, not very I mean, uh, fun. So, all right. You can let's fight get me off of you. Maybe if I throw, like, that jab. <laughs> so guys, um, today, like I was saying, we're going to be showing you guys some really, really cool projects, some stuff that I'm really excited about, because we already ultrasound all our females, and we have a lot of females already in the 15 to 17 uh, millimeter range, which is a good range, start introducing a male with that female. Um, and I'm also going to be showing off a couple of snakes that I do have for sale. A lot of people have been messaging me like, hey, when are you going to do one of those snake sales that you do on your YouTube? I haven't done that for a while just because things have been so busy and I haven't been able to, you know, even put things up on Morph Market just because things have been flying like crazy. But I am going to show a couple of breeder females that are for sale. So you guys know, first come, first serve. Email me at alwaysevolvingpythons at gmail.com if you're interested. So before we get to the projects, let's show off these awesome females that are going to be for sale. All right, so let's start off with the first one. And all these girls are ready to breed. So right here we have a GHI Mojave female. And look at this beauty, man. Again, she is proven. This one's gonna go like freaking hot kick, I'm telling you right now. Again, a GHI Mojave female breeder. Put her back right there. And if you guys are interested, I could ultrasound them and let you guys know where they're at. That one's at 11 millimeters. So if you guys want, you better hit me up right away because not I'm gonna put a mail to it, then I'm gonna have to keep her. Let's move on to the next one. Sorry, it's a mess over here. We were feeding last night. Oh, this girl's also ready to go. Right here we have a banana black pastel possible hit hypo. Awesome girl, man. Oh, both these girls are really, really big. So again, we have a banana black pastel female, a GHI Mojave female, both proven and both ready to breed. And last but not least, this beautiful black pastel albino female. Again, her due date pretty much when I start breeding her, last time when I checked in the cards, is around February. So you guys definitely have some time to start putting on some mail, some mails to her. So if you guys love the albino gene, she already has black pastel on it. I think it's one of the best combos you could have. Again, she will be available. For anyone that's interested in any of these females, email me at alwaysevolvingpythons at gmail.com. And also, I have these two little males right here. One right here is a chocolate pie, and this one right here is a yellow belly chocolate pie. And look how the chocolate works really, really good with the yellow belly. Both of these were purchased, but um, they actually, uh, the buyer had to get a pull out on them just because of personal reasons. So these two are up for sale again. So if you guys are interested, again, a male chocolate pie and a male chocolate yellow belly pie. All right, guys, so let's get talking with these awesome pairings that we're gonna have this season. All right, so one of the first projects that I wanna talk about is none other than this bad boy right here, our Sunset Clowns projects look at this guy right here and this guy is already breeding he's actually I already had one clutch from him if you guys remember the banana sunset head clown stuff he's the one that started that clutch but let me show you a couple of females that we're putting him to that we're really really excited about just because I can't wait to hit some crazy combo clowns that are gonna be hundred percent head sunset so let's start off with this female right here so we put him to this Gotham female which is a coral glow leopard clown so and everything is gonna be a female maker in here, which I'm really excited about. So yes, that's pretty crazy, right? Let me show you some other females that he's gonna be going to. We are pairing him up 
with the spot nose magma clown just because you need to have some spot nose look at this in there and some red stripe and again everything is going to be clown and 100 percent pet sunset also um what's the other female he'll be breeding to as well we are going to be putting him to this lace female she's actually showing some really good follicle size already so hopefully you know we had some lace clowns 100% had sunsets so that's some of the clowns he's going to be going to i'm actually going to be putting them to a couple of pies and some dreamsicles as well just so we can start making some triple and quad heads quadruple heads quad heads yeah, quad yeah. heads yeah so that's one of the projects i'm just showing you guys a couple little things here and there the next project i want to show you guys is the mandarin stuff you guys know we had a lot of cool mandarin pies but now we're going to try to aim for the super mandarin well i was going to pull this male out but he's in really really bad shed but we have a mandarin calico hypo but then we're also going to have this inchy mandarin as a backup you guys seen a lot of inchy orange jeans before and look at the difference between an inchy mandarin you can see the orange is a lot more rustic. So, you know, these both of these males are ready to breed. And let me show you some of the females they're gonna be going to. We're gonna hopefully be trying to go for the mandarin head pies with the mandarin head pied male that we have over there. But we have some mandarin red stripes that are ready to go. Regular mandarin, mandarin, mandarin hypo, mandarin head clowns, pastel inchy mandarin. So hopefully we can hit some super mandarin red stripes some super mandarin hypos and hopefully for the the odds are on their favor we hit some super mandarin clowns and some super mandarin pies which i think are going to be freaking crazy man and a lot of people always say how could you tell you know mandarin's this or mandarin's that or how does the mandarin look i'm gonna show you guys one of the best examples of mandarin look at this this is a little female that i hatched and you can see how rustic orange they are Thing is beautiful man very like i would say rustic right was that the color you would say yeah you know what i totally forgot to show you guys when i was talking to you guys about the sunset clown stuff the sunset clown male has already been breeding to a couple of these females but let me show you some of these girls that i did not think they were going to be ready but check this out spot nose double head sunset clown spot nose leopard double head sunset clown pastel leopard double head sunset clown i mean these girls possibly might make it around March, April time. I don't know. I think I think it's very uh, it's a very good possibility. My double head sunset desert ghosts are getting up to size as well, man. But something really cool about the sunset project as well is these females. These girls right here are ready to go. Right here we have a yellow belly leopard head sunset, and right here we have a yellow belly head sunset so man hopefully this season man we're gonna hopefully hit some my male back there that i'm holding back is a leopard spot nose head sun oh my gosh i mean i'm just gonna have to get into that a little deep next time but yeah all right let's continue with some other projects this one is one that i'm really really excited about so right here we have a black pastel hypo clown head desert ghost and my goal is to put that guy to this chocolate desert ghost hypo so right here we'll be able to hit everything's going to be hypo hopefully we hit some you know hypo desert ghost and they're all going to be 100 percent head clown dude that's going to be freaking insane imagine some black pastel chocolate hypo desert ghost 100 percent head clown dude, those are going to be insane and finally man this male is ready to start breeding it took him a while man but right here we have a black pastel acid or I, how i like to call him, confusion head desert ghost He's been pairing up to this female right here, spot nose desert ghost. So could you imagine hitting a acid spot nose desert ghost or acid black pastel spot nose desert ghost? That's gonna be freaking insane, man. He's also going to this yellow belly desert ghost right here as well. So that's some of the projects right there. I definitely do want to get a little more into depth with a lot of these other projects that I'm doing, some males and stuff like that, but I want to get there when I start you know, uh, seeing more follicle growth on some females and then really, you know, talk about a little bit more. But if you guys like this style of vlog of us talking about some projects that we're doing, showing off some of the snakes, please give us a thumbs up um, and comment down below and let us know if you guys want to see more into depth videos like this. It's something I wanted to start off for the new year and go showing off some projects that we're going to be working on this year until, you know, we start hatching some eggs and see what we actually get from those. But guys, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.